Okay, let me show you how to create a product and how to create variations for that product. Okay, now what you're going to do is uh, go to products and uh, let's create a new one. So I haven't created um, a product, uh, a repair product for you yet. So I'll create one and I will add these two uh, variations to it and show you how to do that. So. Add a new product and we're going to call it repair. Okay. Um, get your details from in here. Place them in there. Okay, so it looks like your default repair price is $12 and eight dollars more for a little sister big brother or big daddy repair so we'll put in 12 bucks for the price and we'll put this in the box mods category since this repair option looks like it's for your box mods so and twelve dollars and um, put a product image in here find an image that looks like a repair tag image yeah that one looks good okay so let's use this as a product thumbnail I saw you create some products earlier. I'm pretty sure you know how to create a product already. Um, also, for your products, um, it's good to have a uh, put a product tag on here. That way, if somebody goes directly to your home page, they'll know if they look in the product tag section, they can click on something directly instead of having to go through menus. You know, supposedly they get that and know exactly what they want. I think that's also good for SEO also when people are looking up uh, different e-cigarette parts, cigarette parts, um, it'll help that to come up in the, you know, like the Google search engine or whatever. So whenever you add products, man, uh, it's good to add a product tag to it. Okay. So we just made that repair product. We're going to publish it and I'm going to get your variations in there and show you how to do that. So once you have a product, you go into a variations. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new variation set. That's the first thing we want to do. First, we have to make a set, and then we have to put options in for that set. Okay, so we're going to call this repair options. And uh, for your variation set, keep it at none since we're creating a new set. The name will be the repair options that'll be the name of the set so uh, if you're creating a set also don't put a price in just keep it blank zero dollars and we're going to add a new variation set and it's right here on the top repair options so what we're going to do now is put options for that set so different variations they select with the drop down menu this pretty much is only the title of the drop down menu that's pretty much what it is like uh for your atomizers, this is your atomizer type is what it's going to show up on top of the drop down. And then when you drop it down, everything here with the hyphen in front of it, it's all pretty much, uh, this is the parent of all of these. So they're directly under it. And these are the options that you would pick, you know, when you're going through the drop down to select which, you know, which one you want. So. Repair options. Let's see what you have here. You have 3.7 or 5 volt box repair. So we'll just drop that in there. So, okay, 3.7. 
electrical door in there or five volt box repair and that price is the same price as you have up here which is twelve dollars and that is the default price uh, for the repair so we will put this at zero since it's not going to add or take away anything from the uh, item price we'll keep that at zero so three volt or five volt box repair and we're going to add the new variation set actually we're going to add this to um, your repair options so when you're making a um, if you're making a variation for a set you always want to put the set you're making that variation for uh, selected in this drop down here so this is going to be part of the repair options select repair options and then you want to add the new variation and then you see it right here 3.7 or 5 volt box repair right underneath your repair options so let's go through it one more time and add um, the repair for the little sister big brother or big daddy so little sister big brother or big daddy repair is eight dollars more so let's go back sister big brother big daddy repair is eight dollars more so remember you're going to keep this in the repair options variation set so leave that to, um, the same if it's not already selected just go in and select it and that is eight dollars more so we'll just go in here and we'll put plus eight dollars if it was minus eight dollars you put in minus eight dollars um, it was 50% more than the normal price put in 50% and just click uh, add new variation and then we have right here our repair options and we have the two options for the repair that you can select in the drop down so let me show you how to add this to a product let's go back to your products okay here is repair so we're going to click repair And this is the same product window we created the product in, but now we have variations uh, for that product. We can come down here and pick them. So for this particular product, we want to show our repair options so the user can pick their whatever they need repaired. So click repair options, five volt, little sister, big daddy box repair. Um, suppose you only want to um, repair little sister uh, big brother big daddies then you just unselect this and that'd be the only option like say for instance uh, you had colors and you don't have a, a certain color anymore you would just go in and deselect the color you don't have anymore just so the, co the product that you have will show up so but yeah you repair both of these so we'll keep both of these selected that's why we created them then you're going to click update variations here and those are your prices um, for your um, big box mod repairs. Those are twenty dollars, and uh, regular repairs are twelve dollars. And uh, after that, you're just going to update your product, and then we will go in and we will take a look at it. So let's open up this site. We're going to go to shop. box mods okay so box mod repair should be down here here it is repair okay these are the repair options we created and they select which one they want to get repaired so if they have a three volt they click three volt little sister or big daddy they click little sister or big daddy and then the product in mean the price changes down here depending on what they select and they're pretty much just added to their cart um, when they add it to their cart you will know which one they picked because it'll show up like for instance it says here repair 3.7 or 5.7 so you'll know what option they selected 
And if you get your, you look at your orders and you get an email to see what they bought, um, you'll be able to see exactly what they selected in that drop down menu. And uh, that's pretty much it.